Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here, and like it or not, the odds are very high that Trump wins the presidency in November, either against President Biden or VP Harris. We went in-depth into Project 2025 on Monday and how to prepare for it, but I found one group of stocks to buy that could produce a quick 30% return in a matter of days. 30%. That's the long-term average premium paid for a company's stock in an acquisition announcement. Boston Consulting Group tracks mergers and acquisition deals and the price paid for stocks over the market price. But merger and acquisition activity was down 15% last year to $3.2 trillion, the lowest level in a decade, and this year looks to be even worse, leaving investors without that 30% pop when a stock they own is bought out. And to understand why, and why it could all turn around in a buyout boom next year, you only have to know one word. Con. Con! Not that con, but Lena Khan, chair of the Federal Trade Commission. The FTC and its Bureau of Competition is responsible for enforcing antitrust laws and examining proposed mergers that may negatively impact competition and consumers. It investigates pending deals and can file in courts to stop them. The youngest FTC chair in its history at 35 years old, Khan has been heralded as an antitrust star by some, while others say she's hurting U.S. competitiveness. She does openly admit to preferring an overly aggressive approach against M&A and under her leadership. FTC challenges hit a new record in 2022. Along with the Department of Justice, which can also sue to block mergers or acquisition deals, 50 challenges went out, the most in at least two decades. Trump himself has been a target of the FTC, and his own plans, along with those laid out in Project 2025, show a downsized FTC with the government stepping back and out of the way. That means not only a potential increase in new deals announced, but could also be a rebirth in the deals that were stopped over the last few years. And I found seven stocks to buy now before the M&A boom brings them back, including one that could jump 435% on a renewed merger. First up, Kroger, ticker KR, announced that it had reached a deal to merge with Albertsons ACI October of 2022, a deal that valued Albertson at $24.6 billion and would have been the largest supermarket merger in U.S. history. The FTC was quick to step in, challenging the acquisition in courts. At one point, Kroger even agreed to sell more than 579 of its stores to CNS Wholesale to address regulatory concerns around location control, but the government is still fighting it. The deal is still in courts, but could be slow-walked to see if they can get the complaint dropped in the next administration. If that happens, shares of Albertsons are trading for just $11.5 billion right now, with 112% upside to that $24.6 billion deal price. We've still got six more stocks to highlight, but staying ahead of this means staying ahead of the stock market news. For that, I also want to personally invite you to get the Weekly Bowtie, our free weekly newsletter with all the stock market news, strategies, and trends you need to see. Each week before the market opens, I'll show you what I'm watching and the stocks that could highlight the week. It's all totally free, just something I like to do for all you out there in the community, so look for that sign-up link below. Back to our list with Tapestry, parent company of Coach and Kate Spade Brands, and its August 2023 agreement to buy Michael Kors owner Capri for $8.5 billion to create a luxury brand powerhouse. The announcement sent shares of Capri Holdings, ticker CPRI, of 45% in a single day, until the FTC decided to piss on their parade and sue to block the deal, arguing that it would and I quote, deprive millions of American consumers the benefit of tapestry and Capri's competition. Which, come on folks, I'm from Iowa, I know bullshit when I smell it. Since when has the government ever been concerned with keeping prices for luxury brands low? Combined, the two companies would be only about 5% of the luxury brand market, still smaller than leader LVMH, and not enough to monopolize prices. It's probably the best example of government overreach on the list, just blocking the deal for the sake of blocking deals. In the meantime, Capri has given back almost all of its bump and settled back to a $3.9 billion market cap. That would mean a 116% return if the deal ends up going through. This one is set to go to court in September, but either way could be appealed into next year and with a more favorable government. Another big one if it comes back. Amazon announced August 2022 that it would buy Roomba maker iRobot for $1.7 billion, or about $61 a share. That news saw a 28% pop in shares of IRBT, which was trading for about $45 before the announcement. More than just the company's vacuum, Amazon wanted innovative and proprietary technology within the robots that could help it become a consumer robotics powerhouse. Here the FTC investigated, but didn't file to block, though many believe the European regulators were gonna step in, and the companies announced a termination to the deal last January. And again here, really? The EU was worried about the acquisition of an absolutely tiny $1.4 billion company that was gonna limit competition? A company that sells about six million vacuums a year? 
that is a threat to consumers and prices. iRobot has since fallen to just $10 a share, under $300 million market cap, or about a fifth of that $1.4 billion offer price. Now, this company is operating at negative cash flow of about $20 million a year, but has $157 million in balance sheet cash to hold it over. If it can find a buyer to come back, any offer would be a triple digit return at this point. Mattress maker Temper Sealy, ticker TPX, announced its acquisition of retailer Mattress Firm for $4 billion in May of last year, a deal that would combine TPX with the nation's largest mattress retailer across 2,300 stores, more than three times the current footprint of 700 stores. The FTC sued to block the deal in June over concerns that it would hurt competition and cut off access to rivals, Serta Simmons, and Purple Innovation. Temper is the world's largest mattress supplier, and Mattress Firms is one of the largest retailers, so vertical integration like this would give it a lot of control. It does appear that Temper and Purple have worked out a deal to make sure that control doesn't become a monopoly, but the FTC has yet to sign off on it. Now, mattress Firm is a private company, but Temper Sealy trades under TPX. The shares are up 44% from that pre-announcement price. If the deal does go through, I think it does give TPX a strong competitive advantage in the industry would be worth a look. This next deal is an industry issue and could mean upside for a lot of stocks. Novant Health agreed to buy two North Carolina hospitals from Community Health Systems for $320 million in February of last year. We've seen a lot of these deals for hospitals over the last two years. The pandemic absolutely crushed hospital profits as people put off those elective procedures and since then, government and insurer reimbursements just haven't kept up with costs. That's left many providers in bankruptcy and trying to downsize their operations. But the FTC and state regulators have been quick to step in, blocking deals that might decrease the number of beds or services. The FTC is arguing here that the hospitals are too close to Novant's Huntersville Medical Center and would create a monopoly in the area to push up prices. The government's involvement forced Novant to call off its acquisition in June and forced a 20% drop in shares of community health, ticker CYH. Also this year, hospital owner Stewart was forced into bankruptcy when state and federal regulators refused to allow its sales of hospitals to other operators. The community health has been able to sell some of its other hospitals and is expected to return to earnings positive next year and is now cash flow positive. Along with the potential help to hospital operators under a different administration, Hospital real estate owners like Medical Properties Trust, ticker MPW, would benefit on the ability to get tenants into their hospital properties that could pay the bills. This next stock could have a 435% upside if its recent merger announcement is back on, but there's another group that could do just as well under a new administration, tech stocks. And I found seven AI penny stocks to buy right now before they bounce. Check out this video here after this one. JetBlue announced its $3.8 billion acquisition of Spirit Airlines in October of 2022, leading to a 20% pop in shares of ticker SAVE within the next two weeks. JetBlue was offering $33.50 per share in cash, nearly double what the stock had traded for before the announcement. The deal would have created the fifth largest U.S. carrier with 9% of the market and a strong position in discount travel. In fact, many analysts were wondering if Spirit could even survive on its own with its heavy debt burden and increased competition. The discount carrier had shopped itself around and had drawn interest from Frontier as well before JetBlue stepped in. Instead of the FTC, it was the Justice Department that stepped in, suing to block the merger on grounds that it would reduce competition and increase fares. Shares of Spirit Airlines were trading just below $17 a share in December, down from that post-announcement on rumors that the government would step in. The stock has since plunged to just $2.80 each, a market cap of only $300 million on a company that had a chance for $3.8 billion. The airline lost just over $500 million in operational cash flow last year. It still has about $900 million in balance sheet cash, so enough time to wait this out, but definitely needs to find a buyer. If that happens and shares were to get back to even $15 each, it would get a 435% return from here. Get the weekly bow tie with all the stock market news, trends, and stocks to watch before the market opens, free with the link in the description, or click on the video to the right for the seven AI stocks to buy right now. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.